Thank you for joining executive webinar session of Bimser International. Bimser International is a leading global enterprise software publishing company since 1998. Based in New York, Bimser is active nationally and internationally. Today our expert panel will talk about how to manage customer complaints in this digital age. To get started, I would like to invite the managing director of Bimser International, Kevin Devachoglu, to the virtual stage. Kevin, the virtual stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the introductions. Much appreciated. My name is Kevin Deveji, and I'm the managing director of Beamstream International. Today, we'll be talking about how to manage customer complaints for continuity improvement in the age of COVID, in the age of digital age, I must say. And we'll be also talking about introductions to QDMS software. We'll talk about QDMS software, its benefits, and its features. So I have my colleagues with me today in our panel. We have Alex Kvartiro from MRS Consultant. He's the president of the organization, and he's also certified ISO lead auditor. And we'll, we'll learn from Alex as to how to manage customer complaints for continuous improvement in the scope of ISO 9001 management system. Also, we have Team BMC International with us to talk about QDMS software for introductions to the system. Somewhat senior process software engineer at BMC International will be talking about QDMS software in the show and tell session of our executive webinar session. Before further ado, I'd like to invite Alex to the virtual stage and let's learn from Alex with regards to customer complaint management, how ISO instructs us and uh, tells, uh, tells us as to how to manage customer complaints for continuous improvement. And let's learn about the fundamentals of it. Uh, Alex, if you're ready, please uh, take over the screen. Sure. Hello, everybody. And thank you very much, uh, Kevin, for inviting me to this uh, webinar. Uh, and uh, today we'll be addressing uh, the management of customer complaints. Uh, obviously, uh, it's a very important part of, of ISO is to keep your customer happy. And it's also the cus uh, customer complaint management uh, should be part of your continuous improvement cycle. Uh, however, dealing uh, or living in this COVID uh, era, uh, it requires uh, some slight different approaches, which I'll be discussing. Uh, so it's important that your uh, continuous improvement and customer complaint management works uh, in this environment. So before I start, I just wanna give you a brief introduction about my company, MRS Consulting. Uh, I'm the principal of Amras Consulting, and I am certified ISO 9001 lead auditor. I've established uh, Amras Consulting back in 2015 after a uh, rather lengthy career as a project manager in a large aerospace company, which is certified to the AS9100 quality standard, which is the aerospace standard. Uh, and currently I provide consulting services for various uh, businesses to help them achieve and uh, also maintain ISO certification. And back since uh, 2018, I became a BIMSER solutions partner. Uh, and I was very impressed when I met uh, Kevin uh, and he showed me the uh, QDMS tool, which works very efficiently uh, in, the, in an ISO environment. Uh, and certainly uh, I was very impressed and uh, where required, I provide assistance on how to apply the tool in this ISO environment. And I also present a number of webinars and lectures on, on various ISO topics. So let's uh, start with a presentation and uh, First, I wanna just, uh, I guess, remind everybody 
uh, on the quality management principles. And that applies not only to ISO 9001, to all of the, the ISOs, but I wanna focus on two of them today. Uh, number one is customer focus. And that's probably the most important principle in, in ISO, meaning that you really have to satisfy your customer. And also uh, continuous improvement. Uh, that's another area that obviously in dealing with uh, various issues, complaints from customers, uh, if obviously those are valid complaints and you have to uh, make some improvements uh, to the non-conformances, then obviously continuous improvement is a very important uh, aspect of ISO. So in order to really be, have an effective complaints management system, uh, you need to uh, communicate and, and, and uh, making sure that the customer uh, understands uh, how he can bring up issues and complaints with your product or services. Uh, so you have to have, uh, you have to establish a system that's very easy to use and you have to encourage the customer to complain because uh, according to some statistics, uh, only 4% of unsatisfied customers complain and the rest, they go just switch over to competitors. So the fact that the customer is not telling you of issues doesn't mean that he's satisfied. He may be just unhappy, but either doesn't feel like it or doesn't know how to uh, you know, it generate a complaint uh, and resolve the, the issues. However, of those 90% of those customers that have uh, complaints resolved, they remain loyal to you. So it's important that those, any issues that the customer brings up gets resolved. Uh, now, <clears throat> the complaints management system uh, must have a procedure of how to deal with that. And, and the other important part is you have to maintain detailed records uh, of all of the, uh, the, the, not only all the complaints, but what is the resolution and what you had to do to resolve those complaints. So, and later on, uh, Sam will have a, a demo of the QDMS tool, but certainly this tool provides uh, an excellent capability to manage all the, the records and to, to making sure that uh, all the records are properly maintained uh, and that the status of the complaint uh, uh, is communicated to the customer. So the customer must be aware that yes, that you're working on the problem and that hopefully you'll have a solution in the near future. Now, whatever process you've established in the organization, all the employees must be trained uh, and use it, okay? And uh, also appreciate their advantages. Um, and obviously if, uh, as any procedure uh, requires updates, uh, if any of the employees feel that there should be improvements or changes made to this procedure, then by all means, uh, those should be considered. And, and adopt it if uh, those are valid suggestions. Now, uh, this customer management process must also work very effectively in this COVID environment. Now, why am I bringing this up specifically about this COVID environment? Well, because um, I guess it started about two years ago and, and it still continues is the number of employees are now working offsite. They may be working from home, uh, but in that case, whether they're working on-site or off-site, they need to have access to uh, all of the information, the data uh, that supports all of the uh, customer complaints. So without having that information available on the tip of their hands, uh, it, it's really, uh, it's gonna affect 
how this whole procedure is, is working. So it is very important that wherever the employee is located, that he has access to all of this uh, customer complaints data. And in, in having a, a procedure in, in handling customer complaints, uh, you have to make sure that the, your customer uh, understands uh, this procedure and knows how to file a complaint. So it really has to be made very easy for him. Otherwise, uh, he will resist doing it. And that's how you, you're going to lose customers. So the uh, communication channel between your organization and your customer uh, has to be established. What is the, the, the procedure of the customer filing a complaint? It could be in any uh, ways, like uh, through an email, uh, online. Now, it could be done through telephone, but uh, if it's done by telephone, which sometimes it's necessary because this is how the, the customer can explain exactly what the issue is. However, whatever telephone communications happen with the customer, it must be recorded uh, and, and saved as part of this complaint uh, procedure. Um, and then once you've understood uh, the complaint, the nature of the complaint or the non-discrepancy, uh, then the customer should be aware of the, the fact that you're working on the problem and expect the time for its resolution. Now, internally, you also need uh, uh, complaints handling procedures. Uh, and again, uh, that ha has to be the roles and responsibilities for your employees has to be defined in how to handle the procedure uh, and what kind of uh, documentation must follow up this, uh, the, the non-conformances. Uh, also, it's very important to um, do a, an analysis uh, of the problem. And there are various tools to do root cause analysis, which I'm not gonna cover today. Uh, that, that certainly is a, a, a topic for another lecture, but it is very important to get to the root cause of the problem and not just making guesses as to what the, the problem might be. Uh, also, lessons learned. Uh, you should have a lessons learned database uh, to look at what improvements uh, can be made uh, to correct the problem. Because you may have similar problems in, in the future, which may have your causes be similar to what you already resolved. So if you have a lessons learned database, you may go back and say, oh yeah, I had this problem before, this is how I resolved it. And this will help you maybe help to isolate the, the problem a lot quicker this way. Uh, and now, of course, once you've identified what the problem is, now you have to make sure that you're working on the problem, you're tracking a, a plan or schedule, and uh, at the same time, you have to make sure you provide the feedback to the customer. All right, and this is kind of a pictorial view of really this whole uh, complaint uh, process, you know, starting with a customer complaint, uh, obviously, as we talked before, you have to record the complaint and then do uh, whatever root cause analysis is necessary uh, to uh, analyze the, the nature of the nonconformance. And then you have a, a plan to resolve the, the complaint. Uh, it could be a very simple fix or it could be more extensive where you may have to do some rework, redesign. Uh, but whatever it is, you should have a plan, and that plan should be communicated to your customer. And then hopefully that's resolved. Uh, and if it's uh, not, for whatever reason, uh, then you got to make sure that that is escalated to uh, management uh, for, you know, further additional investigation. And, uh, you know, if it's a very uh, serious issue, uh, where you're not meeting the, the customer deadlines and whatever, custom, uh, the management should be aware of it and make sure that 
uh, the customer is informed as well that, that you're working on, on this uh, issue. So as a summary, as I said, uh, managing uh, the quality management system, which is obviously customer complaints is part of it, is, is a really challenging proposition. And now with the COVID environment, even though it looks like COVID is uh, certainly behind us, however, uh, it still is very common for a number of employees to work remotely. Uh, and as I mentioned before, working remotely still requires you to have access to all of the, the company data. Uh, and um, you need to have virtual control of all the documents, the records, uh, whatever plans are established in dealing with the corrective action process. Uh, so it's very important that the person working from home has that capability. Uh, and even uh, as, you know, performing audits, which is kind of a, uh, benefits, site benefits, could the, the, the audits could be performed um, remotely uh, and, and not necessarily have to bring the auditor to the organization site. So it looks like the remote workforce is likely to continue in the future. Uh, and again, uh, it's very important that working remotely, you have the tools and the capabilities uh, to perform your, your function as if you're located right on site. And certainly uh, the QDMS tool that certainly Sam is going to uh, demo, uh, I think is a very important part uh, of supporting uh, the ISO implementation. Uh, and again, uh, to, as a result uh, is to, satisfy the customer and maintain your internal continuous improvement process, uh, which is a very important part of ISO. And uh, certainly the, uh, this, the QDMS tool will support both on-site and remote uh, workforce. So uh, that's the end of my presentation and I'd like to turn it over back to uh, Kevin. Thank you very much for your attention. Alex, thank you very much for sharing your insights and your expert opinions. Please stay with us so that we can also have your final remarks, final thoughts towards the end of our, our, our executive webinar session. Coming up next, I'd like to invite my colleague Sam Watt to our show and tell session. Sam is a senior producer software engineer at Winter International and he'll be showing you QDMS software, how it looks, how it feels, and some benefits and features of QDMS you'll be able to see live in this part of our executive webinar session. I'll stop, I'll stop the sharing so that Sam can take over the screen. All right, thank you for joining today's webinar. And this is Sam, the senior for sales software engineer of Famson International based in New York. In the following, I will demonstrate your QDMS on a high level, especially the uh, customer complaint management module and also the correct fashion module of our system. So first of all, QDMS is a web-based system, meaning after setting up the system on, and then every single user can connect to their own QDMS and log in their own account by using the web browsers. So you can log in by using Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, or any web browsers that you name it. And therefore, you can connect to your own system on QDMS and start managing your quality management related activities anytime and anywhere. Furthermore, QDMS is a permission-based system. Not everyone can see everything. You will see what you're supposed to do based on the permissions that are granted to your account. Different users have different permissions based on their role, position, profession, department, and group. 
and I am now logging in as the admin so that I have the full control of the system. And right after we log in, you will see this homepage on your screen, which shows all the planning tasks and also the uh, and all the assignments on your homepage, so that you can open the widget from this homepage and get a quick connection and start proceeding with this particular request. And in terms of the notifications, we, you can find those in your QDMS account, and also you will receive one in your email inbox. This is a two-way notification feature that we have in QDMS in order to make sure you will not miss any important tasks by using our system. On the top left, this is the main menu of QDMS. Thanks to the modular structure of our system, you can pick and choose the modules that you want to have and get it set up in your system, in your instance. And based upon uh, the topic of today's webinar, we will get into the customer complaint management module and also the corrective action module as known as cover module. Let's get started. So in the uh, customer complaint module, it records all the complaints that you got from your existing customer. And you can record them and save this into an archive of QDMS. And as for all those records, it doesn't have to be the complaints. Also, some of my existing customers, they are using this module for managing the feedback from the customer. So it can be like a positive feedback, or something neutral, for example, or uh, as I've mentioned, like the complaint. So what you will see on your screen is all the records that I have recorded in this demo environment, and all of those are recorded in different status. So those will be shown as a list so that you can always keep tracking what we have recorded in the system. So based upon the progress that we're handling this particular record or customer complaint, those will be marked as open, planned, final, revealed, uh, follow up, so forth and so on. Again, it's based upon the progress that we're handling this particular um, complaint. And I'm going to show you one of the records, what kind of information that you can record it in QDMS. So the system will take you step by step, and you have to um, you have to um, yep. Uh, the system will take you step by step, and you can record the complaints, like uh, the detail of it, and how you want to categorize that. All of those will be recorded with the date and also the time in our system. If there's any attachment that we want to uh, attach along with this record, for example, there's a customer complaint about the product, for example, like damaged product, and then we can uh, attach the picture that we got from our customer and record it in our system. After that, we can assign this complaint to a solution team, meaning the responsible team, which is going to solve this complaint or deal with this complaint. After that, we can file a first progress report, meaning carry out our investigation and perform certain action uh, if needed. And before we close this custom complaint, we can also uh, we can file our final report or define any follow-up action if there is any. So the system will take you step by step as we create a new one, for example, and then you will see a page that allows you to enter the customer name, the complaint detail, and also how you want to put this complaint in different categories. On the top, there are different tabs that you can uh, utilize so that um, you can file your first progress report, assign any action, in order to cope with this complaint and in order to have a continuous improvement in our organization. Also uh, write our final report 
And at this moment, they are in gray color and you are not able to uh, get into it. The reason why, because we are now creating a new record or this is the page for creating a new complaint record. As I have mentioned a couple of minutes ago, the system takes you step by step, meaning we have to finish our task and manage the record um, step by step. We have to, first of all, create a new one. And then we assign this to a solution team. And then the system allows you to enter the result of your investigation, so forth and so on. So you can see by using QDMS, you, um, the record of your customer or complaints are well organized and you can always keep tracking the status and also the details of your customer complaints that you record in QDMS. Furthermore, there is a reporting tool that allows you to run all the randomized reports in this module. So all the related uh, information to be listed in the report, like the customer complaint rep uh, report, and also, also the uh, action report, and also the cost report. So this is very important that we can always keep tracking the, histo uh, the history of the records, like what we have done, what we encountered, uh, like saying the, from the last year, as, um, as Alex mentioned in, the, in his presentation, not only recording the customer complaints, but we have to also have the lesson learned from the complaint, from our customer complaints so that we can always run our report in QDMS and see what happened in the past and what we should do in the future in order to keep our customer uh, satisfaction. And in case there is, any, uh, is, there is the certain complaint or non-conformity that you have defined it based upon the customer feedback, also, we have the corrective action module that is talking with the customer complaint module. And I'm going to show you one of these examples. And by using the corrective action or with the aid of the corrective action module, we can also define the non-conformity based upon our customer feedback. So right here, I'm going to show you one of the examples. as our customer complaint that is really uh, connected with the um, corrective action module. First, of course, you can record the detail, the description of your complaint. And also we can, by the time that we're creating our investigation, we can also have our root cause analyzed based upon our uh, customer complaint. Furthermore, all of this will be recorded in our system and we can assign certain corrective actions or corrective actions based on this particular customer complaint. And I'm going to show you and put this on our screen. So as for the uh, customer, uh, as for the corrective action module, it's also taking you step by step by taking you through after we have uh, created a new record so that we can find all those records in a report-like page. Think like what I'm showing you on the screen. So think about like uh, the ISO auditor. Um, the auditors come to your place and ask you to show how you manage your non-conformity and also how you manage your corrective actions in the organization. So after that, uh, when we got this kind of question, we can show it right away to our auditor. Okay, auditor, this is how we manage our corrective action. This is our first progress report, meaning the investigation. Also, this is how we define the root cause. Furthermore, we record all our corrective actions and preventive actions digitally. It's recorded with the username, date, 
time and also the detail, including all the attachments that we attach along with this record. Moreover, if there's any follow-up action that we need, we can also re record it in QDMS. And we can set up also the due date for our follow-up action. So first of all, the auditor will be impressed with such a cutting edge technology that you are using for your quality management activities. Second of all, by using QDMS, it helps you save your time and cost. You don't have to manage all your corrective action records or your customer complaints by using Excel or Word or even by uh, on paper. You don't have to look around all your records from your drawer from the cabinet as the papers, they are not free. It costs you and your organization by, from the paper itself from the ink and also the storage place. This is how you can enjoy the benefits by using QMS and manage your quality management activities digitally. And as for QDMS, it has a native mobile application that is available for Android and iOS device. So you can download your QDMS from Google Play Store or the App Store. So whenever you are, wherever you are, and you can connect to your own QDMS by using your smartphone or tablet, regardless the OS it is running on your handheld device. I'm going to mirror my cell phone screen and give you a quick tour of our mobile application. So this is my cell phone running with our Android OS. And after we log in our QDMS um, instance in the mobile application, then you can find all the pattern tasks right after we log in. Also on the top, there is the main menu, which you can find all the modules that are available in your environment. Saying there is a customer complaint that we want to record it, and then we can I selected this particular, um, I'll get into this particular module and find all those records that we have recorded in case there is any um, request for approval or any pending task that is waiting for your performance. So seeing like you, you are uh, on site for customer meeting or you're, on your, uh, you're in your business travel example, so no matter where you are and what the time is, you can connect to QDMS and start managing and proceeding with the tasks and also the assignments in QDMS by using a handheld device. It comes to the end of my demonstration on a high level. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sam, for the show and talk. Now let's talk about QDMS on a high level. As discussed earlier, Beamster International is an enterprise software publisher since 1998, and QDMS has been also published by Beamster since 1998. So it's a mature system as demonstrated earlier. It has more than a thousand corporate clients and more than a million professional users. It is also certified by Acumedica and Sage ERP systems. On QDMS, you can digitize your management system. You can automate your business processes. You can comply with many different regulations that your company is facing. You can improve your business processes and you can follow up your tasks digitally and system also shows you digitally as to what type of tasks, tasks are coming, which ones are priority, uh, notification.
And at the end of the day, you can digitize your corporate records and you can create your corporate memory in a way. On QDMS system, as my colleague Sam demonstrated earlier, you can manage more than one quality management system. Any type of ISO is a start that you can manage digitally. You can also manage IATF, Study 100, <clears throat> SQF, BRC, and many other quality management systems that you are complying with. You can access QDMS from anywhere, especially in the age of, um, in this digital age and the, in the face of COVID, being able to access data no matter where you are is critical. So QDMS provides it to your S2, you can access anytime your records. It has also advanced integration capabilities. It integrates with ERP systems, CRM systems, manufacturing execution systems, smart sensors to, to automate your management system, automate your quality management system, so that you can actually perform your, your activities in a more proactive manner, which is actually very advantageous nowadays. UDMS is vertical free. We have clients in many different industries. We have clients in manufacturing, automotive, aerospace, construction, retail, energy, pharmaceutical, healthcare, and many other industries. So in that sense, QDMS is very, very flexible. And no matter what industry you're in, you can use it. This modular structure is also advantageous in a way that you only pay for what you are using, actually, on the system. So earlier today, we talked about customer complaint management. So there is a there, is, there are customer complaint modules available. There is internal customer complaint and external customer complaints module. As my colleague Sam demonstrated earlier, corrective action module is to design to help you continuously improve your business processes, document it, and keep visiting anytime that you need to visit. So in that sense, it is actually very helpful. So it's a mature system, as I demonstrated earlier. It is able to help you manage your customer complaints digitally, and you can access your data no matter where you are, and it has the latest technology available in the marketplace. So uh, in that sense, um, you can manage your customer complaints for continuous improvement on QDMS digitally. Uh, Alex, do you have any final remarks before we end our uh, executive session? As a, as a takeaway from uh, your presentation, uh, as well as Sam's, is that uh, the QDMS tool, uh, I think, provides, I think, two important areas, uh, the way I see it, in customer complaint uh, management. management. Uh, one is it's, it stores or saves all of the complaints in, uh, in one database. So that if you have, if you're a relatively large organization and different people work on managing uh, complaints, uh, they may not know that a similar complaint came from another customer and they may have to re repeat the same uh, root cause analysis. Whereas since everything is on the database, they just go back and see what all the complaints were and then uh, it'll make it much more efficient to see how the other complaint, the previous complaint was resolved. So I think that's, that's one area. Another area uh, I believe is that managing uh, in the resolution of the complaint, uh, QDMS provides you know, your, your steps and controls in uh, resolving it. Uh, and also informing management of the progress of resolving the complaints. So, you know, in my own experience, when I was a program manager, a lot of decisions are made and then they're, they're put on the back shelf. And uh, until, again, the customer comes back and starts to complain that nobody, nobody really paid attention uh, to their complaints. So it's important that you follow up on the customer complaints. And certainly QDMS tool provides that capability. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Alex. In a way, customer complaints actually is, um, they're actually, actually opportunities for companies to take actions, review their processes, review their products, and to continuously improve their business processes. As you always say, there is always room for improvement. So that's a, that's a great opportunity in a way. 
uh, and um, and um, yeah, it, the international we are also ISO 9001 certified, so we also practice it on, on daily basis. So we, we truly appreciate your insights, Alex, for, uh, for sharing with us. Much appreciated. So let's share some other information with you before we end our, our session. Uh, as you may know, uh, in, in March, we uh, delivered Synergize 2022 annual virtual conference and Summit of Inter International successfully. Uh, its recordings are available on our YouTube channel, very informative sessions about digital transformation, about Industry 4.0, ISO 9001, and other uh, important and popular subjects that we covered. So we are also getting ready for the 2023 version. It's scheduled for March 15, and um, we're gonna have limited space available. So please um, go to our event create page and register to secure your, your place for Synergize 2023. And uh, for registration uh, for Synergize 2023 and our coming uh, events are actually listed in, uh, in our channel on Eventbrite, uh, actually. So you can uh, visit our Eventbrite page, Winter International Eventbrite page. You can see what type of events are coming up and you can register for those that you are, you are, you are interested. Um, and these, uh, executive webinar session and others, as well as the Synergia 2022 and 2021 uh, sessions. They are also listed in our YouTube channel. Uh, Beam3 International has a very active YouTube channel um, and you can uh, visit our channel and you can subscribe. There are many informative videos are available about digital transformation, manufacturing 4.0, predictive uh, analytics, as well as uh, automation and cloud technology. So we are confident that you'll find many informative and educational videos available on our YouTube channel. So we'd like to invite you to our channel as well. I'd like to thank you for your time and thank you for your interest. We are looking forward to seeing you at our coming webinar sessions. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you for joining executive webinar session of Bimser International. Bimser International is a leading global enterprise software publishing company since 1998. Based in New York, Bimser is active nationally and internationally. For more information, please visit www.bimserint.net. To schedule a meeting, please email marketing team at bimserint.net. Thank you.